Oh, it's a very complicated process, us trying to work together. We did, we did make an attempt. But we bonded uh, over some hot gossip. Yes, <laughs> big gossip. Hello, I'm Paul King, the director of Wonka, and this is Entertainment Weekly's Around the Table. Mr. Wonka, I can see you're a man of great ingenuity. What are you doing? I'm making chocolate, of course. How do you like it? Dark, white, nutty, absolutely insane. Many people have come here to sell chocolate. They've all been crushed by the chocolate cartel. You can't get a shop without selling chocolate, and you can't sell chocolate without a shop. No daydreaming. Playing Wonka was daunting because it's a beloved character, and people are very protective over the characters and versions of films they love. Gene Wilder's version is so beloved and so iconic, and so is the Tim Burton film. If the script wasn't so good, it would have felt blasphemous. I was linking with Paul King here and Hugh Grant, who did a truly nearly perfect film in Paddington 2, and I, I don't what, think that's high praise. What's the problem? You were very clear with Yeah, The problem is the 1% standard deviation that I think, <laughs> I think exists on Rotten Tomatoes. But seriously, having you and yourself, I don't know, I'm talking about you like you're not here. You're looking at me like, I'm yeah. nuts. <laughs> well, that's not what I wasn't listening to you. I was not aware. <laughs> he was mad at me because he spilled coffee on his shirt before. And he's mad at you. Fault. He's, he's mad at you. Fault. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I told him I was going to bring a backup of this. So like my mother said that. <laughs> when we did Press of Japan, and I walked in, he goes, wow. You're the spitting image of, of my dead mother. <laughs> <laughs> I think mom's coming back through Timothy. Oh my God. Yeah. I'm here to scold you. I play the chief of police, who is um, a man who is beholden to the chocolate cartel and um, does little favors for them so that they can um, hold sway and maintain all the power in the community, especially since the people use chocolate as currency and they're chocolatiers. He is one of the biggest obstacles to Willy Wonka starting his enterprise. He's addicted to chocolate. He is bribed with chocolate, yet trying desperately inside himself to be a better man. I think it was wonderful being able to play that conflict, the conflict of him saying, you know, fellas, I, you know, I can't just break the law. I am the law, right? And they're like, can we give you 1,800 boxes of chocolate? Sure, that sounds great. I don't like anyone else in the film being good or scoring. So I was very upset last night to see the film for the first time and to realize how good you were being. And <laughs> how many laughs you were getting and all that. Because so you, 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 you have the you tally don't. sheets as you go along, right? You, yeah, you, yeah, you keep a ledger, right? Yeah. Well, you? I'm grinding my teeth yeah. if anyone else gets a laugh. Yeah, I heard you swearing loudly yeah. every yeah. time Keegan got a, a good response. I didn't like it. So Noodle, my character, she's a very um, strong character. She just, you know, goes along with Willie and his journey on becoming a chocolatier. And she's skeptical, I guess, mm -hmm. I would say, mm -hmm. about Willie. She's the brains of the operation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We wanted a kind of wise head on young shoulders. And it's really hard to find. I mean, we had different casting directors in the UK and the US and, and, and really all around the, uh, around the world going to every drama school and, and kind of youth camp and, and school. And you start to get scared and go, is this, does the rice not work? Is the, is, is the relationship all wrong? And then when, when we saw you, my co-writer Simon and I, we, we watched it. And I, I think she's really good and we played him a little clip on my phone. And you, oh, she's perfect. And that was just the end of it. You guys had a... We had a, a virtual read in mm, the days yeah. of COVID. And uh, that's the best kind of acting. Well, yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, COVID yeah. acting. <laughs> COVID acting is great. Yeah. You see someone on screen and you get a very general, vague, delayed, clippy sense of what they're doing. Good evening. So you're the funny little man who's been following me. Funny little now. How dare you. I will have you know that I am a perfectly respectable size for an Oompa Loompa. An Oompa what now? In fact, in Loompa land, I am regarded as something of a whopper. They call me Lofty. <sighs> So I will thank you to stop gawping at me as though I was something unpleasant you'd found in your handkerchief. I find it uncomfortable and frankly, rude. You were fantastic in yes. the film. Yeah, I'm well. Yeah, really. <laughs> I'm semi-animated, let's face it. I think the animator did a good job. The bit that's my face is frankly a mediocre. <laughs> <laughs> it's essentially all you. You've been rebuilt, which is, I, I is think- that what I, it I, is? That's the great confusion. I, I feel I need to answer this because you have no idea of how this Still, is, is done. You put this helmet on, it's yeah, got sort yeah, of yeah. 16 <laughs> cameras all over it that are sticking into you. And up on a screen- There are there's no a cameras sort of, sticking into you. It's a sort of computer nerd <laughs> sitting off to the side of the room. <laughs> you ignored it. <laughs> you that comment. A lot of the acting I did with you was on a, was a stick mm -hmm. with a tennis ball. Well, it was a very complicated process, us trying to work together. We did, we did make an attempt, didn't we? Yeah. Because otherwise, it's, you know, you're working completely remotely with each other. 
But they made this attempt. To, they brought me to the set. I, I was put in a little tent nearby. But we bonded uh, over some hot gossip. Yes, <laughs> big gossip. If the, I, I could tell you anything you want to know about any major Hollywood star. Oh, did you really? Yeah. yeah. Have a nice no. chat. No. All right, he, yeah. was, he was specific. In any scene where, you, where the umpalump has to move, you can't really go at that scale and you can't be a moving eye line. So it was great kind of to have the radio play of you together and, and be able to sort of rehearse it. One of my favorite bits, the Dr. Loompa bit didn't make it into no. the movie. Oh, Dr. Yeah. Loompa, what was that? Yeah, Mr. Loompa, it's not Mr. It's Doctor. He, he, just, <laughs> he just threw it in there. Yeah. Thank you, Paul, for letting us improvise, for being so collaborative. Oh, well, it's a joy. It was really so Why much fun. Why wouldn't I want it? The nicest bit is the first time you laugh at a joke and it's easy to lose confidence in, in the material. And But what the one thing I, can, I always think I can do is remember how I first laughed. The enemy of familiarity yeah. is that you become so familiar with it and you go, oh, that's not working anymore. And you're like, no, it definitely it, works. It, yeah, it's yeah. just that you've heard it 57 times yeah, yeah. and it actually does work. And that's yeah. really great that you have that ability yeah. to be able to say, no, no, it, that was charming. That was funny the first time through. Yeah. It's going to work again. But it's also because Simon, my co-writer, is a really good comic form as well. So when we're doing the script and we read it back and forth to each other all the time and it's quite weird because you, sometimes I have like the way he's delivered it that I've gotten used to over like a year. Ah. And it's some, there's occasionally, ne never with any of you who are all marvelous, but with lesser actors, you sometimes go, um, mm, mm, it's good but I can remember it being funny. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, when right, another when guy did, did it. it. Right. <laughs> no, when the other guy did it. We three are the fiercest of rivals, and yet we agree on one thing. A good chocolate should be simple, plain, uncomplicated. Where is this with all its bells and whistles? Well, it's just weird. I'm gonna hate what happens next. <laughs> what's happening? Oh, what's going on? That's the hoverfly. <laughs> broken out of its cocoon, it's flapping its wings like Billia. I think it's harder being on a wire than I realized mm -hmm. because you sort of go, well, it looks like you're just, we didn't look that hard. So I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. When I was on the, the ladder and then he, the ah. ladder like spin, cause you took it and you spin mm -hmm. it around and I, yeah. and I jumped on the lamppost. Oh, with the that, giraffe? Yeah, yeah. that mm -hmm. was like, cause of the, the ladder was like so. It felt so yeah, rickety, it was didn't so, it? Yeah. yeah, I'm sure it was safe. Yeah, no, it was safe. It was safe, of course. But it was just, you know, just feeling it. It was yeah, just like, yeah. you know. You were harnessed in that one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What was happening when you come down to the, in the beginning of the movie, you come to the light post and you go around the light post once and then land on the ground? Off the truck or off on the, the boat? Truck, oh. Off the truck. Off the truck. Oh, that yeah. was on a wire. That was a tough one to get, actually. Yeah, it was a platform, yeah. I mean, it turns uh, yeah. out that you can't drive a truck past the leads of your movie at high speed as right. you jump off it. <laughs> right, 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 right. I mean, I was all for Unless it. Tom Cruise. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have insisted. He would have insisted. Yeah, right, yes, right. He was driving the truck. Yeah, he would have been driving well. and doing it. We did like nine takes, jump, you know, yeah. going around that that lamppost, and after a while, your your body starts to give out a little bit. Wow. You know. Did you do the Oopa Loompa dance? Yeah, did or you? It was just the yes, animated yes, part. Yes, of course, yes, you, you were did. doing yeah, the dance. Right, I did do it. Yes. No, no animator could dance that angrily. It's <laughs> like, I think that's the angriest dancing in film history. The moves are borrowed from the original. The Gene uh, yeah. Wilder Oopa yeah. Loompas. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a it's a hat off. I remember when there was a Charleston thing that we were doing in the trolley cars. Oh yeah. And I remember I was I was in one of the suits. I was in one of the suits yes, and you I were was big by then. I was I was big by then and I was trying really hard to get to get my leg around to get into that Charleston movement and then I was like, oh, maybe I'll just do more face acting. <laughs> there was a definitely a day where you were arrived at 2:30 in the morning for yes. the following day shooting yeah. and I had not oh. yet gone home the night before no way. to finish wow. the thing and you were in. I was, and in. I was like, I'll see you in 6 hours. That's right, I'm right. going to wow. sleep. I'm gonna be, right. wow. <laughs> wow. It was do you know what? It was worth every second. I thought that the hair and makeup team and the wardrobe team, yeah. unbelievably amazing work. Because I would look in the mirror, I, sometimes they, they would stop and take a break, because the guys would have to take a break, because they, they were there right. an hour yeah, before yeah, me, yeah, yeah. hour and a half before me, getting set up. And then I would just sit there sometimes when they'd take a break and look in the mirror and can't see the seams. I mean, there was makeup right, right, right here, and for some reason it just looked like my eyelids. And everything, it, it's, it's so good. You could change her life, Mr. Walker change all their lives. Run away! Every good thing in this world started with a dream. So you hold on to yours. You've been watching Entertainment Weekly's Around the Table with Wonka. Be sure to watch Wonka when it comes out in cinemas or movie theaters, as you call them in America, on December 15th. <laughs>